Hey guys, this is Just One Guy, and I'm back here with my Miss One project. And as you can see, I finished modeling the main keep. I haven't textured it yet. It's gonna look a lot better once I textured it, but uh, I've got it modeled out, and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I tried to do the architecture as best possible to stick to the theme of the books with the Gothic architecture. I might change some things for uh, gameplay reasons so you can land on these spikes but uh, this is pretty much how it's described in the books so let me just go in game and show you it turn my control on and unlike before since I modeled it out this time I got everything just the way I want it first you have the uh, I didn't put the doors on yet just for convenience sake uh, those circles gonna be uh, up there uh, once I put a texture on those are gonna be the glass windows and I got the keep walls uh, the way I like them and everything like that this is gonna be a entire city it's just gonna be like a small city and that's gonna be the whole playable area uh, these colors just uh, on the floors just represent the different colored districts but the first building I modeled out was the keep and the goal of the game is going to be to take control of this keep but here we have the, the front room and then the downstairs this is going to be where the ballroom is and everything like that uh, you go upstairs that's three floors but I'm actually pretty proud of it because uh, I got everything just the way I wanted it you have your first floor with a bunch of rooms. It's not that special. This is uh, going to be the glass windows uh, that that you hear about in the books. And on the first floor, it's going to be a, a ballroom where the, the dances and stuff that will occur, like in the books. Uh, I'm actually pretty proud that I was able to get the winding stairway and the arches up. Ooh, I fell down the stairs. It's got weird camera work because this is a, a different camera setup. Uh, this is a project I use just for building out levels. So this is just a uh, test character that I use for uh, for going through levels. But in the actual game, uh, the camera won't go through the walls like this. It has a code to prevent clipping. But all in all, I'm uh, really happy with it, how this turned out. All the uh, colliders are working perfectly, unlike in the last one, uh, one I made. Since I'm not working from uh, pre-made materials, I mean, uh, pre-made models, and I just modeled it all out, uh, all the colliders are exactly the way I want them. And this is the third floor. It's going to be a bunch of rooms up here. Uh, at first, it was originally only two floors. But then uh, I figured a mansion will have more rooms. <clears throat> and so the only thing left is to put the doors on, uh, fix some minor uh, modeling issues, and then texture it, and then it'll be complete. Another benefit of modeling it was uh, I'm able to texture it and able to change the textures uh, on the model so it can work perfectly the way I intended. Uh, I lost track of the hallway. <laughs> There's, a, there's actually a door with a hallway out. Here we go. And that's like one of the little modeling issues I gotta fix for, uh, right here. But other than that, I think everything turned out well and uh, I'm making good pro progress on the project. This took me a while just because I had to learn how to use Pro Builder and then uh, I had to practice some modeling techniques. And even though I'm still learning, uh, I think I got everything out pretty good. Not to mention, I, uh, I was, had to look up some gothic architecture to figure out how things should be. And uh, the benefit of not using uh, pre-made uh, models is I was able to get everything exactly how I think it should look. And I think this is a, a good mix of what's described in the book between the uh, gothic architecture and the modern influence on uh, how the houses should be. And I was able to get everything I wanted at, 
as you can see like the little uh the little castle walls and the glass windows and these giant spiky things like how they're described in the books the only thing i might change is i might put a little uh place where you can land on these uh for gameplay reasons and add some uh spikes to the keep walls but after i texture everything it should look pretty good and uh i'll be done with that part the next thing i'm going to do is start adding the districts you can see i have uh the districts i'm going to add here the lord rulers buildings that'll just be like uh his church and his administrative administrative buildings the sky housing areas uh, i'm already finished that i'm gonna uh, upload that video and uh, uh next i just got to texture that too and that's just going to be the giant uh they have these giant buildings that just house ska and they just house ton of ska uh i've already built that and i'll show that in the next video but that's where that's going to go and then you have the market area uh and the books this is where most of the book takes place because uh one of the characters have a shop in the market area and so this is where the main uh hideout will be uh, this is just going to be a regular market area where you see thieves and homeless people and uh, shops and everything like that. And then uh, more more noble houses. Uh, it's going to be mansions over here, but not as big as uh, this keep right here. This keep is just going to be the main uh, ma uh, house in the city. And whoever rules the keep is going to rule the city. Now the city is uh, not accurate to the books 100%. Uh, but for gameplay reasons, I just decided to make it that way, just so it could be easier. And uh, I wasn't going to spend the time to make the actual cities in a book, because the actual cities in a book are a lot larger. And uh, then it, we just have to keep it. But all in all, I think I've got it pretty good. It looks pretty good. And once I texture this, it's going to look uh, pretty good. Also, another benefit of me modeling it is I'm able to put uh, custom textures for the windows because in the books, uh, the way they describe it, these uh, glass windows, they have uh, they depict the Lord Ruler defeating the mist or uh, the, the deepness as they call it. And so that's what's supposed to be on the windows. And so I could just make a custom texture that rather than uh, using whatever whatever model I had to use before. But I'm pretty proud of uh, what I've got here, especially for my first attempt, because I'm not really a, a 3D modeler, which is why it took so long. But now that I've got uh, most of the techniques down in Pro Builder, uh, everything should go pretty quickly. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.